Welcome back to Pride. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fully restore a set of old, rusty, peeling dumbbells. These dumbbells have rust. They're in rough shape. They're dirty. They got peeling paint on them, and we're going to fully restore these dumbbells. So the reason I'm sharing this video with you guys is because a student of mine called me. We are in the middle of a pandemic. A lot of people are training at home. The price of dumbbells and any exercise equipment that you might be using at home has gone through the roof. My student called me. He said, uh, my dumbbells are no good. I need a new set. Where can I get an affordable set? I told him right now it's tough. Everybody already grabbed them all up. Prices are going through the roof. And I said, just out of curiosity, what's wrong with your dumbbells that you said they're no good anymore? And he said, oh, well, they're rusted. They're peeling. I need a fresh, fresh pair. So I explained to him what to do and I'm sharing it with you guys in this video here. I have an old set of 15 pound dumbbells that were given to me and I'm going to demonstrate in this video. So the first thing you want to do after just wiping any dust off of these is you want to sand them down a little bit. Get as much of the rust and paint off as you can. You don't need to take too much time doing this. You just want to Get it nice and smooth, get any buildup off of those dumbbells before we paint them. You can see the amount of rust coming off of these loose chips of paint like this, we're going to want to scrape off as well. We'll see what we get off from sanding, and then we'll grab the scraper just to make sure we scrape off any more peeling paint. And with the scraper, you can just get that peeling paint right off. See how easy that came off there. Any spots where you see that that paint is lifted, just want to try to get it at some different angles and see what comes off. Anything that comes off, it's better it comes off now rather than after we put a nice fresh coat of paint on it. So we want to get all that loose paint, any peeling paint. You want to get all of that off. Majority of this paint is already gone due to the rust. So it's making, making that scraping part a little bit easier and quicker. Not too much to scrape off of these dumbbells. Mostly just rust. Now we're just going to sand a bit more. Make sure we get as much rust as we can off of these dumbbells. We want it to be nice and smooth. Get it nice and clean. And then I'll show you what I'm going to be cleaning these dumbbells with in just a second. Once I'm happy with the amount of sanding I've done. Once you're happy with the dumbbells, once you've sanded enough and scraped any loose paint off, I like to clean the weights with WD-40. You can go a step further and use a rust treatment. This way it really kills all that rust and stops any further rust from coming out. We're not going to go out, we're not going to spend any money, we're going to use what we have. We have WD-40 here, so we're going to put a little bit of WD-40 on it to get it really clean and to really stop that rust from forming any further. And then we're just going to let them sit and dry real well after cleaning them with WD-40. And you want to clean every angle, every side, all over the dumbbell with that WD-40. Get a good clean. Now, once you're done sanding and scraping any loose paint off and you've cleaned your dumbbells and treated them, whether you treated them with just some WD-40 or whether you treated them with some rust treatment, we're going to first paint our 1.5, our 15-pound symbol right there. So we're going to paint that first, and we're going to let that dry real well. And I decided to use some red paint. I'm going to use red spray paint for these 15s right here. 
So you want to get a light pass over that 15. When using spray paint, you always want to keep it moving. You never want to stay on one spot too long. Otherwise, it's going to puddle up. You'll see how nice these dumbbells come out when we're done. I'm going to go over the TSA with the red as well. And again, you want to get light coats. I'm outdoors. I'm in the garage. I'm going to be painting this floor in the future. So I don't mind if I get any of this red paint on the floor. If you're doing uh, any of this work over a floor that you're concerned about, you want to always put down something under those dumbbells. Spray paint always goes a little further than you intend for it to go, and you'll end up painting that floor. Keeping that, keeping that bottle moving when I spray. That's a good first coat. I'm going to let that dry. Now I have some 20 pound dumbbells here as well. These go along with the 15s. I'm going to go ahead and put that first coat of red on the TSA and on the 20. I prepped these the same exact way. I first wiped them down, scraped any paint off, any loose paint, and gave them a little light sand, trying to get off any rust that I could. And then I wiped them down with that same WD-40 and let them dry real well before starting to put that first coat of red paint. And now we're going to want to let this all dry overnight. Alright guys, so we got our first coat that dried real well overnight. Now it's perfectly dry, we're going to give our second coat. We're just going to go smooth and fast, keeping the paint moving when spraying. Get a nice second coat. And that's it. Now we're going to let this dry until tonight. We're going to give it a good 12 to 14 hours to dry. Make sure it's really dry before moving forward. Now this is the most time consuming part of this process. You can see here I already have this other 20 pound dumbbell prepped. And I'm going to show you the process right here. This takes a little bit more time, but depending on how nice of a finish you want, you want to take your time on this and give yourself plenty of time. You'll notice right away if you rush, you don't get that finish that you really want. So if you want those numbers to really pop on your new paint job of your dumbbells, you want to take your time on this part. You're just going to cut out a little square of painter's tape, place it right on top of that 20, and you really want to mold it around for when you're about to cut it with the razor. This way you get a much cleaner cut. All right, now we're on to the hard part. This is one of the more time-consuming parts of this process. I have here the other 20-pound dumbbell is already prepped. This is painter's tape. So you're just going to cut out a little square of painter's tape. You're going to place it right on top of that 20 pound symbol. And then you're going to really press down and really go around. You can use a pencil or a pen to press it down. You can use the back of the razor blade that you're using. And then we're going to cut around and lift all that excess tape. This way we're left just covering those numbers. This is the most time that you're going to spend on this restoration of your dumbbells but the more time you take the better the outcome you're gonna get you're gonna be very happy with the way the dumbbells look once you're done if you take your time if you rush it you're not gonna get a very clean 
cut and those numbers aren't really going to pop the way you want them to. So now we're just going to use our razor and we're just going to go right around the two and then right around that zero. And then remove from the corner all the excess tape and we'll be left with a nice 20 that looks like this and we'll be ready to paint our final coat. Like I said, a little tedious, but the more time you take, the better outcome you're going to get on the restoration of these dumbbells. So you take your time, and you get what you pay for when you put in the work. Always want to press the tape down real well before cutting that way it doesn't pull you just want to get a nice cut this way when you lift that tape you got a nice clean number there ready to be painted You can always clean it up as well, press the tape in. I'm happy with that. That looks good. All right, now that we have our painter's tape prepped, we can go ahead and start our first coat of our main color. For this coat, I chose a gloss vintage gray. I think it's going to go nice with those red numbers. And we'll just go ahead and give our first coat. Remember to always keep the paint moving. You never want to stay spraying on one spot for too long. And we're mainly focusing on going over those numbers. This way when we peel off that painter's tape, we get a real nice finish. But while we're working on this side, we'll also hit that center bar and the hex. Always remember, never let your paint dry with your painter's tape on. You always got to peel that off before the paint dries. Now we got our 15s all set. We're going to give that first coat on the 15s now as well. Remember, you always want to go light passes. Keep that paint moving. You don't want to stay in one spot too long, otherwise you'll get that puddle.
Let's get a close look <clears throat> at those letters and numbers. You never want to puddle it up in there. You don't want to get too much paint in there. You're going to have a hard time when removing that tape if you get too much paint in there. So you want a nice thin coat so that when you remove that tape, you have a real good finish. Now let's take a look at how well it came out. Remember we haven't painted the other side of the dumbbells yet and we can do some touch up on certain spots but the numbers and the letters came out pretty good using that painters tape not too bad by the time we're done these will look like a brand new set of dumbbells and we'll be able to use them without worrying about any paint chips falling in our face or any dust from all that rust falling off of them now we want to let our dumbbells dry real well before we turn them over to do that other side. It's really good if you do it overnight. Let them dry overnight before turning them over. That way we can do that other side and finish up. Alright, now that you've let your dumbbells dry real well, we've got that top coat nice and dry. We're going to flip our dumbbells over. This way we can hit that other side. We wanted to let those dry real well though because we don't want to damage those numbers and letters when flipping the dumbbells over. You know, always check, make sure there's nothing stuck on the other side, no dust or anything before putting that last coat of paint. And this is what's going to finish up our painting process in restoring these dumbbells. Remember to always use spray paint in an area where the air is ventilated. I'm in a garage with a door open and several windows open, so I got plenty of fresh air coming in. Now that you've given your final coat, we're just going to let them dry real well. We'll give them a couple hours to dry before even flipping them over and we'll check how dry they are alright now we have our final product I let that final coat that we did on the other side dry for a couple hours they seem real dry I'll let them sit for a couple more hours before I use them but they're pretty much done and I'm real happy with that finish I'm happy with the colors I chose and they're definitely usable now. I don't got to worry about scratching my hands on any of that chipping paint. I don't got to worry about any of that rust dust falling off as I'm using them. Getting my hands all dirty. Dirtying up your workout area. As close as you could get to a brand new pair of dumbbells. And if you remember what they looked like when we started. Very big difference. Be sure to share this video. There's a lot of people out there with old dumbbells. And a lot of people doing their training at home now. So they could definitely use these tips. Be sure to subscribe to Pride Martial Arts for more.